outside, 55 degrees outside of our studios here in Johnson City. Meteorologist Julia Gardner joins us now with the forecast for the day ahead. Hi, Julia. Good morning, Michael. Some areas even warmer than 55 degrees this mm -hmm. morning, but uh, it's not going to last too long. This will be the last day we'll, we'll worry. We'll, we will. We'll, <laughs> help me out, Michael. Uh, this <laughs> we'll is the have last temperatures day that, okay. this warm. Well, it's not even like the middle of the week yet. I haven't I've been, been drinking, there. honestly. <laughs> sure sounds like it, though. When it comes to Y2K, WBNG TV Two has package. been doing. Well, let's move along. When the clock strikes midnight for New Year's Eve in Times Square. I don't have any CDs. Where am I supposed to read it? Well, over the years, the celebration in Times Square has become the official New Year's Eve party for the entire world. It, it's fairly common, yeah. I mean, Matt, Thomas, um, <laughs> calm down. You're on television. It's okay. There you go. Um, you know, and, and certainly in our dogs, we see more fairly common thing in older cats as well as kids. Beyond that, then it's going to be too big, and they'll feel like they can mess in it and get away from it. Um, the other thing is maybe you're not giving her enough time after you feed her. To, I don't think Thomas wants to talk to her. <laughs> Cute. They are very, very adorable. They'll probably rip your face right off <laughs> if you get too close <laughs> when they get a little older. Yeah. But you know, for now, they're, they're just fine. They're very cute. Meteorologist Julia Gardner is here with a last look at the forecast. I don't know what, it's Friday. We'll have a graphic Friday. look at your forecast. <laughs> Let's take a look at the graphic. Did they rip your face off? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really mean that. It's a little bit violent today. Thanks to you people, it has been incredible. The news media picked up on this. They have been um, advertising. Julia Gardner is an angel from heaven. God bless her. And Julia Gardner is an angel from heaven. God bless her. If all goes as planned, construction would begin here at Confluence Point as early as this fall. Just making it interesting for you. <laughs> as Walter Pregas continues to deal with the flooding in his basement, he says that suing the city is the only way to get their attention. Thank you, you big fat jerk. The future of the Tioga County. <laughs> I did that, I didn't even mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phones and pagers are just the beginning. Cars are becoming mobile offices, but there are concerns that it will drive us to distraction, causing deadly accidents. Plus, a Florida journey... I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> and the Elmira School District forms a scientific advisory committee as it investigates what the contamination at Southside High has led to cancer cases. What the hell does that say? <laughs> what the hell did that sentence say? Oh, my God. Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Tom O'Hara. Great day on the way. Plenty of sunshine. As you can see, high pressure back to the west of us that will be pushing in. I'm going to kill her because she started to die. <laughs> Kick her ass. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Sunday morning. Excuse me. And thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good evening. All righty. Have a good night. Whatever they'd like to do. Oh, you just blew it. There goes the image.